we install these rubber pieces first before you put the side panels on. This goes in that little hole there. Then these rubber tanks go into these little holes here. Start at the bottom, hook this hole over the plastic tab, and kind of fit it up along the tank like that. And try to get those two little tabs in. Reinstall the trim pieces. Make sure this little rubber tab slides into this slot here, or else you can't get it on. To make this easier, I just noticed there's a little plastic tab that goes in right there, and that's where the bolt goes. So that makes it line up easier. When you put in these plastic push pins, they'll be going into here. And one on the other side. The plastic push pin will be popping out from back here like this. So you're going to want to make sure everything's snug before you pop the little button. This little triangular tab is going to go in here. And it just presses. And you'll have the one bolt. That will go through here and then back into there. So we'll press this little tang onto here first. Catching on some wires, got to be careful. Just push in there. Put this bolt in. The upper push pin. And the lower push pin. If you watch the original video, it was rusty here, so I just kind of did a cheap spray can fix. When I bought the bike used, it was missing a couple push pins, so I found these 90269-06803 Yamaha pins. It wasn't listed as an exact Yamaha FC09 part. It was for a different model, but it was the right size. There's a thin plastic washer that goes under here. It's easy to lose. That'll go in here. That. This side will be exactly like the other side. Make sure you do the final tightening of the tank bolts. It's been a while since we took this off, and finally this last cover goes on in there. There's the four push pins. Push this button unless it's down all the way like that. And the T down below. Now that's looking better with everything reinstalled.